Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've clicked on this video, then you've probably been here before, so I won't bother too much with introductions, but I'm Charlie, um, and I was 38 weeks pregnant yesterday um, with my fourth baby. It's my ninth pregnancy. Um, it's been quite a journey, but we are very nearly there. Um, I haven't packed a bag yet. My husband is still working hundreds of miles away. Um, I don't think either of us consider there to be any danger of this baby arriving early. Um, my three previous children have all gone overdue and I think we're both pretty confident that this one will too. So I thought I'd just pop in anyway with just a brief update um, of where we're up to. This will be my last update. The next video you get from me with regards to this baby will hopefully be a birth announcement um, in another maybe two, three, four weeks. So yeah, um, as I say, 38 weeks, feeling all right, sore hips. Hips and pelvis are really sore at this point. Baby's sitting pretty low and I can feel it. Um, I am also literally gonna die of heartburn probably not literally, I don't think people do die of heartburn, but if they did, I'd be one of them, because it is brutal. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm feeling good. I'm a bit tired, but mostly just sort of excited and getting impatient and just ready to meet this baby, find out if it's a boy or a girl, name it. Um, yeah, all the kind of really fun parts. Not so excited about the whole giving birth thing. Uh, that's not a particularly fun part. I'm still planning a home birth. Um, I've got everything ready, I think. I've got a birth pool and towels and just stuff like that lying around. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm semi-prepared. Um, but I'm going for a hospital appointment on Friday, tomorrow, um, just to talk about at what point they might want to induce me. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. I was really against induction with Rufus and I just stayed at home. I just kept refusing to go in and just stayed at home until he came out. Um, but this time, the logistics of finding childcare, um, the speed of Rufus's birth, various things have kind of made me think, actually, if they just give me a date and I can work towards that, then it might be easier and probably safer all round. So, I don't know, we're going to go and talk about that tomorrow anyway and see what the crack is with that. Um... So yeah, just nearly there. It's all feeling quite bittersweet now because this is my last pregnancy. Um, I'd have more. If it were up to me, I would have more. But my husband's done and the sensible part of me is done. It has been such a journey. It hasn't been anywhere near like I imagined it would be when, I, when we decided to start a family. Um, it's been so much harder than I ever would have imagined. So I know that I'm done. I could never put myself or my family through this again. I mean, we started trying for this baby over a year ago. I lost two babies since that point. I've lost five in total. I've had a molar pregnancy. I was diagnosed with an incompetent cervix this time and was told that there was a very real danger of losing this baby um, later on in the pregnancy. And all of that fear and anxiety and stress culminated in this situation. Um, yeah, it's been... Hello. <laughs> it's been hard and long and I'm just so grateful and so excited that we're nearly there. There have been so many times over the last few years that I never ever 
could have believed that we would have got to this point. Um, I always wanted four children and when I first started to miscarry I thought that two would be my lot and as grateful as I was for them it was it was difficult to kind of say goodbye to the two other children that I had hoped to have and luckily I haven't had to in the end it's been a lot more difficult than I thought it would be but we're so nearly there so almost complete and I'm really excited and really happy and yeah I just can't I still can't quite believe it still can't quite believe that we've made it here it has been intense and quite dramatic and one hell of a roller coaster but we're so close now it's just a waiting game now just sort of spending my days um cleaning the house because i need to keep as clean and tidy as possible for in case um we have midwives coming around for the birth or in case i go into hospital and my mother-in-law comes around to look after the kids um so that's like a full-time occupation at the moment i've got rufus at home with me every day so I'm trying to keep him entertained and not be too boring for him at the moment. Um, and I'm just, I'm just patiently waiting, just patiently waiting for this baby to come along. Um, there it is. Okay, so there's the bump. It's, um, it's literally like I've just put a ball up my top. It's really neat, really compact. I've never had a bump like that before. Usually I just, I balloon. And I end up absolutely enormous. Um, so it's quite nice having a, a neat little bump. Um, I will miss it a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it. I just, as I say, I just wanted to give you a quick update. Nothing much really has happened um, in these last few weeks. It's just been making plans for the birth and just getting increasingly big and tired um, and that's it so I'll see you on the flip side all being well I will be back with you in a few weeks with a new baby so exciting <laughs> see you soon guys Bye.